In this video, I will teach you one way through the Tomb of Giants safely for a hitless or deathless challenge run. There are other ways through, but in my opinion, this is the most consistent. It can be done with or without the Sunlight Maggot, but I find it easier with the light. The Tomb of Giants is split into two sections for this tutorial. The first is from Pinwheel to the first bonfire and is relatively straightforward. After beating Pinwheel, make sure you put on the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring. At this point, you don't need the Sunlight Maggot. Make sure your health is full before proceeding. Climb the ladders out of Pinwheel's arena and look for the first Prism Stone on the ground. When you reach it, you will see the second to your left. Run towards it, but stay slightly left of it to avoid a ledge. As you draw near, the bridge will appear. Run across it to the third stone, then towards the fourth. You will come across the first enemy here. If you keep sprinting with the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring, a single roll will suffice to get past him. With the wall on your right, you will see the next stone. Drop off the ledge to the right of this stone. You will fall on or near a skeleton, so don't linger here. Drop off the ledge in front of you again. You will know you are in the right place because there is an item on the ledge you land on. This item is usually safe to grab, but the skeleton above can sometimes land on you if you are unlucky. Drop off the ledge again and turn about 90 degrees left. Drop down one last ledge and you will be at the bonfire. Now you can either continue on to the second part of the tomb and head to Nido without the sunlight maggot or come back and warp to this bonfire once you have it. You will, however, want the Fog Ring and the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring for the next section. The second half of Tomb of Giants is slightly longer and more dangerous, but follow these instructions and you will get through it. From the bonfire, climb the ladder up and run straight until you see this wall. Run along this wall all the way to the Fog Wall. If you stay right next to the wall, you can sprint the whole way. The dog skeleton may jump towards you, but you don't need to roll it. You can do a safety roll if you like, though. Once you get through the fog wall, run straight until you fall off the ledge here. On this platform, no enemies will be able to attack you. Take out your bow and walk to the edge of the platform. Below you is a skeleton dog. Target him and shoot an arrow. Sometimes he might attack the air and go back to where he was, but usually he will start to walk backwards. At some point, he will turn around, stop, and forget about you. Now walk off the front of the ledge where the dog was. Don't run as you might drop off the edge to your death. Drop again onto the path and follow it down. When you get to this arch, run across to the wall. Follow the wall to the left, staying against it. Again, you will go past a skeleton dog, but if you stay against the wall, he won't hit you. Once you get to the ramp leading down, Drop off to the left, find the hole in the ground, drop through it, and follow the path. Congratulations, you got through the tomb without getting hit. The route is the same without the sunlight maggot, you just have to trust your directions a bit. You may not be able to see the dog before you target him, but once he is targeted, you will be able to see him walk away. 